Hey guys, what's up? This is Derek with OMG. It's Derek.com. And in today's video, we're going to do a quick little tutorial on how to fix your microphone settings. If you notice that when you're live streaming or recording, you only have your microphone coming through on either the left or the right side of your speakers. The reason I noticed this was because I recently upgraded my microphone from a USB Blue Yeti Pro to an Audio Technica XLR microphone. And when I upgraded this, I went to then live stream. I got all my settings done, went to live stream. And while I was live streaming, I had several people from the live stream mention that my voice was only coming through the left side of their headset. Once I checked this and confirmed this, I realized that that was the case and naturally started looking for a solution. So now I found two different solutions and I want to explain uh, which one is the best way to do it and why you might not want to do it another way that tends to be a popular option I see a lot of people doing and stuff on YouTube. And that is that down here in the right hand corner of your desktop, you can right click on your little speaker icon and go to your sounds. You can go to the recording tab and here you'll see line in uh, Scarlett 18 I8 USB. That's my XLR to USB interface. Whatever yours might be, again, I know Behringer makes an option that's pretty popular because it's, it's cheap on Amazon. But if you right click on that and go to your properties and then go over here to advanced, you'll see right here under default format, it says two channel 16 bit. You can actually change that to one channel 16 bit at 44,100 Hertz. So it's basically the exact same setting as what's there now except for it's one channel instead of two channels. When you do this, that'll basically turn it into a mono device and it'll display the same volume out of the left and right side of the speakers. The reason I don't like changing it here is because there are times that it's nice to have the one microphone record on the left side channel and another microphone record on the right side channel. For example, if you're doing an interview with somebody, by having two different microphones plugged in and one recording on the left side and one recording on the right side that then gives you the option later in post editing to individually adjust the volume. Say one mic, even you didn't have it quite perfect and was a little quieter than the other mic. They won't be mixed together, which will allow you to increase just that mic's volume. Whereas if you were to downscale everything to one channel, uh, you would not be able to do that in the post editing process. Uh, so, but again, that is an option. However, if you're doing this for live streaming like myself, and again, most programs you would use there to record like Audacity, if you're not live streaming, but you're recording your microphone and trying to figure this out, they're gonna give you an option to down mix your stereo input to mono in that application. So for example, here in OBS, if we go right down here to the gear icon under, under our mic slash aux setting, and we go to advanced audio properties, right here under mic slash aux, you'll see a checkbox that says down mix to mono. When that's checked, you will then notice that the device changes to a mono device, which means that it gives you the exact same volume for the left channel and for the right channel. Now, if you're using Streamlabs OBS, let me go ahead and drag that over on the screen. It's gonna look a little weird here. Um, you would click under here, if you click under line in Scarlet, the gear icon, you'll notice there's not an advanced properties, just properties. It's actually separate up here under the mixer as a whole, this gear icon will open the advanced audio properties. And again, you can then just down mix to mono by checking the box here. And it really is that easy. And in my opinion, it's better to set it in whatever application you're needing it to be mono instead of in your overall device. Because again, if you ever then need it to actually record on two different channels, you might forget to change this back. Whereas with something like OBS, you only need it to down mix to mono uh, when you're live streaming, for example, or if you're recording your own voice audio and you want it on both channels, uh, you're able to do that in Audacity by changing it just to a mono mix. All right, guys, so I hope that helps you out. Uh, again, it was just a little snag I ran into when I was setting up my new microphone and stuff, and I just thought I'd create a quick little tutorial to show you guys uh, what I found to be the best way to fix the issue. Thanks so much for watching. If this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out tremendously. 
And if you like content like this, please hit the subscribe button because you'll get tons of content like this video that'll help you make your stream just a little bit better. All right, and until next time, guys, peace out, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.